स्टूडेंट्स आई एम योर कोमाली मैम इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू लेवन डिस्प्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन दिस टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम क्लास टेंथ एंड दिस वीडियो इज यूजफुल फॉर स्टूडेंट्स हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग बोर्ड्स एंड हु आर लुकिंग फॉर बेस्ट आई टी फाउंडेशन एंड नीट फाउंडेशन कोर्स फॉर लर्निंग द बेसिक्स इट विल बी हेल्पफुल लेट एस सी वॉट आर डिसप्लेसमेंट रिएक्शंस सी डिसप्लेसमेंट द नेम इट्स सेल्फ टेलिंग राइट डिसप्लेसिंग वी आर रिप्लेसिंग वन एलिमेंट विथ अनदर एलिमेंट what are replacement displacement reactions the reactions in which the reactions in which the reactions in which one element takes the place of another element in a compound are known as displacement reactions what we are doing children tell me one element goes and replace another element from its compounds let's see examples you will understand let's take one container in that take copper sulfate solution which is blue color take copper sulfate aqueous solution copper sulfate solution in this put a strip of zinc rod when you put this zinc metal here what will happen is this zinc metal displaces this copper from the copper sulfate and it forms zinc sulfate and copper metal are formed what is that when you put zinc rod in copper sulfate solution then what happens zinc goes and displaces this from copper from copper sulfate in this copper place zinc comes and zinc sulfate we get and a copper metal are formed in this reaction blue that initially what is the color of the solution blue color blue color slowly fades into colorless solution due to the formation of zinc sulfate here zinc is more reactive than copper what is that zinc is more reactive than the copper that's why zinc displaced the copper N let's see next example if you put magnesium strip in copper sulfate then make this magnesium put in copper sulfate then we get magnesium sulfate and copper metal are formed here magnesium is more reactive than the copper that's why magnesium is magnesium is more reactive than copper that's why it is displacing this copper from copper sulfate are you getting my point are you getting my point and now what is the color blue color of the solution slowly fades into colorless solution here magnesium is more reactive that's why it is displacing the copper it is an example of displacement reaction next example take iron 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 fillings if you take and this iron fillings you put in copper sulfate solution if you put in copper sulfate solution slowly the blue color of the solution changes into greenish solution and some amount of copper will be formed here iron is more reactive than the copper that's why it is displacing this copper and it is forming iron sulfate and copper metal is formed this copper metal na reddish brown kind of ppt forms on the top of this iron uh, uh, you know fillings or let's do an experiment take iron nail and that iron nail mm, take sand paper and uh, finely polish the surface of the iron nail take a test tube in the take some solution of copper sulfate solution you put this iron nail into that copper sulfate solution leave for a one hour or two hours after some time what happens you know the iron nail color changes like this why it is iron nail initially the nail color is like this but you know how the color of the nail it is changing it is changing like this why what is the reason before iron you what you are taking this after copper is forming this copper forms a layer on the top of this that's why a red kind of uh, you know layer ppt reddish brown kind of layer will be formed on the top of the iron is it clear let's see one more take lead metal lead lead metal strip you take this metal strip you put in copper chloride solution once we put in copper chloride solution we get lead chloride and this copper metal comes out here lead is more reactive than the copper cu that's why it is displacing that copper 
and it is forming copper coming out and this forming PbCl2. Greenish solution slowly fades into colorless solution. This is one of the displacement reaction. This is one of the displacement reaction. Take copper strip, co copper strip put in a silver nitrate solution HgNO3. When you put this copper in silver nitrate solution, the colorless solution slowly changes to blue color solution because copper nitrate will be formed and that Ag comes out. So here it is more reactive than Ag, copper is more reactive than Ag, that's why Ag is coming out. This Ag is whitish, uh, silver kind of whitish PPT kind of layer will come and form on the copper strip. Okay, that is a, this is one of the displacement reaction. One metal going and displacing, this metal is going and displacing another element from its compound. Here iron is more reactive than the hydrogen. That is the reason when you put iron fillings in the hydrochloric acid, then what happens? Hydrogen gas comes out, hydrogen gas comes out and FeCl2, iron 2 chloride, ferrous chloride will be formed. See iron, Fillings if you put in HCl, what happens students tell me that two, two hydrogens it replace and it forms FeCl2, hydrogen gas comes out. This is one of the displacement reaction. Why it is happening? Because iron is more reactive than the hydrogen. Next. If you put instead of iron, if you put magnesium, even magnesium do because magnesium is more reactive than hydrogen. So magnesium replace hydrogen, hydrogen gas comes out and we will be getting magnesium chloride. This is also one of the displacement reaction. It is also one of the displacement reaction. You take sodium metal, you put in water. Take sodium metal, put in water. If you put in water, what happens is sodium is more reactive than the hydrogen. So this sodium displaces hydrogen from the water and H2 gas comes out and NaOH will be formed as our product. Here what I want to tell you is hydrogen, sodium is more reactive than H plus or hydrogen of this H2O. That's why it is displacing. This is also one of the example of displacement reaction. Chlorine if you mix with a potassium iodide, chlorine is more reactive than the iodide, iodine. So it replaces this iodine and it results in the formation of KCl comes here and it replaces this iodine. Iodine exists as I2, so I2 gas goes out. Here why chlorine is able to replace I minus? Because chlorine is more reactive than the iodine. That's why which the element which is more reactive that will displace the reaction which which is less reactive. Till now what you have learnt all are aqueous solution reactions but not only aqueous solution metals in solid form also do displacement reactions. For example take magnesium strip and you know uh, magnesium metal and you do reaction with a copper oxide. This copper oxide is also solid, this is also solid but magnesium metal is more reactive than the copper so it will displace this copper and magnesium comes in this copper place. It results in the formation of magnesium oxide and copper metal comes out. Why it is happening? Because magnesium is more reactive. You no need to write all these children. Just click the description. You know, you will be getting the notes. Download the notes. Keep the notes with you. Every point I am discussed, I, ha I, I have written in the notes. I will share that notes to you. Put a file. Keep all these notes in that file. When you have some examination on displacement reactions, go through that and write your exam. Okay, same way aluminium is more reactive than the iron, that's why iron 3 oxide, iron exists as how uh, FeO, Fe2O3, Fe, uh, Fe2O4, like the different oxides will be, iron oxides will be existed, okay. So, Fe, Fe2O3 in this iron is in plus 3 oxidation state, okay. Now, when you treat with I, aluminium, Forget about this oxidation state. I am not discussing oxidation state concept now. When you treat with aluminium, aluminium will displace iron because iron aluminium is more reactive than the iron and it forms alumina oxide and iron metal comes out. Here, I want to give you these many reactions you have learned, right? So, I want to give you an excellent uh, trick for you all. If you know this trick, whether that reaction is possible or not, you can find. For example, they have given like this one equation. 
copper sulfate plus ZN gives rise to ZN SO4 plus Cu. Then what they were asking in our objective exam is, they were asking the reverse reaction. What is that reverse reaction? Copper sulfate, this back reaction they were asking. See this reaction. Zn SO4 plus Cu gives rise to what is the product? Then what do you do? Copper is more reactive than the zinc. Then Cu SO4 plus Zn will form. If you take this option, then it is a wrong answer, no? No, Cop zinc is more reactive than the copper. That's why displacement reaction happens. But copper is not more reactive than the zinc. So no reaction. Then how you will come to know? How many elements you can remember here? Super point one single, you know, uh, line I'm going to tell you. This line you practice it, you, this mnemonic you remember. Easily you will do all displacement reactions. That is PSBC. PSBC. Magentil. Magentil. H. Chap. PSBC Magentil H chap. What is P stands for? P stands for potassium. I'll give in the notes. Okay, download potassium, sodium, barium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron, nickel, tin, lead. This is hydrogen. Next, copper, uh, mercury silver, gold, platinum list. So, here left to right, reactivity decreases. Reactivity decreases. Now, see here, see here the elements which are given in the question. Copper, sulphate and zinc. Copper, where is copper? Here is copper, here is zinc. So, this is more reactive. So, it can displace. Left hand side are more reactive, right hand side are less reactive. So, left hand side one can easily displace right hand side one. Is it clear? Is it clear everybody? So, this copper easily can displace this. Okay, fine. You will solve this. See the next question how easily you will do. What is the technique I told you? Repeat PSBC, Magentil, Magentil, H chap, H chap. So, where is this magnesium circle? Where is this copper circle? Which is more reactive? Magnesium. Your left hand side elements are more reactive. Your right hand side elements are re less reactive. Left hand side displace right hand side. So, magnesium is more reactive. So, it is possible. For example, in exam, they gave a question like this to confuse you. Okay. Then is it possible or not if they ask you what you do? Copper is more reactive than magnesium. It forms copper sulfate and magnesium. If you write no, here copper is here, magnesium is here. It cannot displace this. This can displace this. This side elements are more reactive. See one more example. Copper sulfate plus iron. Again tell me PSBC, BSBC, magentil, magentil. H chap, H chap. So, any element you can do very easily. Iron is this one. Iron is more reactive than the copper. Correct. So, it can displace. Next, lead. Again, write PSBC, magentil, H chap, magentil, H chap. So, which element students tell me? Which element tell me? Here, lead is given. PB is given. Where is PB? Lead. Lead. Here is a lead. And copper, where is copper here? Yes, lead is more reactive, so it can displace. If you take another example, what we have done? Iron we combined with HCl. So, iron is more reactive, it will displace. Magnesium we combined with HCl. Magnesium is more reactive, it can displace. The element which is more reactive, that will displace the other element. And coming to the halogens reactivity order, any question, whatever the question you can see, all these examples you can, all these examples, use the same PSBC, Magentil, HHFC, PSBC, Magentil, these many times I am repeating, by this time you should learn, Magentil, HHAP, HHAP, so HHAP, what is S stands, N stands for sodium, sodium is here, hydrogen is here, so it is more reactive. It is more reactive. This reaction takes place. Here, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. This is the reactivity order. 
so chlorine is more reactive than their down element so chlorine can displace i minus and it will form it releases i2 it releases i2 so keep in mind which are less reactive that should come as a product that should come in as a product then you will get the right answer and copper oxide magnesium which is more reactive psbc magentilium comes first so magnesium can displace very easily these all are single displacement reactions when you see displacement word only displacement if they give in the exam that is a single displacement reaction okay and if they mention only double displacement then only you should go to the double displacement you should write it normal displacement means single displacement all these are di single displacement reactions in next video i'll do double displacement reactions also in another time we will see my name is komali i'm your chemistry mentor thank you so much for watching this video sub if you are watching komali mam channel for the first time subscribe my channel like this video and let me know what concepts you are looking and put in a chat box de comment session definitely i'll try to make a video on that particular concept have a nice day bye love you see you again in next video